Do you still remember the episode when Irfan and his team visited Indonesia Safari Park? At that time, they came to a special cave for the nocturnal animals. One of the animals that inhabit the cave is the owl. From the Strix owl to the Buffy fish owl. But, the question is, can you see the birds? If the answer is no, well, please forgive us. What can we do about it? The area is very dark. So, instead, in this episode, we will talk about owls. Talking about owls, many people are interested in keeping them as pets. The reason could be that people are captivated by the charm of owls. Or maybe some people think keeping an owl will increase their charisma. Or perhaps they were just influenced by the Harry Potter movies. However, owls are not suitable animals to be maintained. The reasons are... First, owls are carnivorous animals. Owls are different from cats or dogs. We can't buy their food at the pet store because there is rarely a pet store that provides their food. They also shouldn't be given fruit like other birds. Owls should be fed fresh raw meat and whole animal meat such as rats, guinea pigs, or rabbits. Indeed, owls' feeding needs are simpler when compared to parrots, for example. But, hunting rodents every day would be very troublesome. And if we choose to buy mice to feed them, it will cost a lot of money. In addition, owls aren't creatures that know human eating etiquette. The way they eat food can be said to be very messy. They like to shred the flesh of their prey into small pieces before devouring it. And after the owl finished eating, of course, we had to clean up the crumbs of flesh and blood splattered because the owl wouldn't clean it up on its own. They are also known to like to store or even hide, leftovers to eat later. So, we have to find and dispose of those leftovers. Second, owls are nocturnal animals. And as nocturnal animals, they are active at night. Whether it's hunting or hoot, they do it when it's dark. They shouldn't be forced to get up during the day, as doing so can stress them out. During the breeding season, owls will make very noisy sounds, interfering with our sleep quality. Another problem, if owls are imprinted on humans, they will expect the person they perceive as a partner to chat with them, routinely. Third, they always need care from their owners. Owl keepers must feed them, clean their cages, and pay attention to them daily. Yes. Owls that are used to the presence of humans need attention. If abandoned or neglected, they will be stressed. However, as normal humans, you certainly need a vacation. Sometimes we also have to attend various events that require us to travel far, such as attending a relative's wedding or funeral. But it feels weird if we take owls on vacation, right? Moreover, bringing them to attend a relative's wedding on the other hand, we can't leave them alone at home because they might starve and fall ill. Alternatively, maybe we can entrust them to someone else. But the problem is that not everyone can take care of an owl. It takes a trained and experienced person to take care of them. After all, if owls have imprinted on you, they will be aggressive towards strangers who try to care for them. Owls are creatures who like routine. Once the routine is interrupted, they will feel stressed or fall ill. And if they are sick, not all veterinarians know how to handle owls. Fourth, they have a destructive nature. Owls have a natural hunting and killing instinct, and it would be difficult for us to erase that instinct. Therefore, owls can target everything that is in our homes, from clothes, blankets, curtains, pillows, they can tear everything. However, owls have the instinct to stick their claws in, and our hands can become targets for them. 
even if we don't intend to hurt them. They are also not birds that like to be petted and cuddled. And once we do something they don't like, they will act aggressively. For your information, apart from claws, their beaks are also very sharp. People can get injured and bleed if they receive their attacks. Fifth, small cages and houses aren't suitable places for owls especially if we want to place them in wooden cages. Owls' sharp claws can damage wood quickly and easily. Owls are wild animals. If someone wants to breed owls, not keep, but breed, they need an aviary equipped with sturdy wire. The usual cages for parrots are inadequate for owls. Owls need to fly regularly so that they can exercise. They also need to bathe regularly because their instincts require their fur to be clean. Therefore, in captivity alone, owls require a large bath that must be cleaned and refilled regularly. Indeed, many things must be considered and done if you keep an owl. Therefore, the person who takes care of the owl should receive training first. If we take care of the owls wrong, it will only endanger them and ourselves. Some countries have implemented a ban on keeping owls. But, not a few countries allow the maintenance of owls privately. In Indonesia, it is estimated that there are 54 species of owls, only 16 of which are included in the list of protected animals. We can still see owls being traded in the animal market. Even if we search online, it's not difficult to find people who sell these nocturnal birds in the local marketplace. Sadly, even though many other animals are more suitable to be kept. For example, a dog or a cat.